Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are recreating, I'm in Gaji's animation. Let's see the preview first. Okay friends let's make it. As you can see guys, I added my project files to the timeline. For this animation, I keep these layers duration 4 seconds. First, we will separate this note into 3 parts. Let's add a rectangle shape for masking. Now adjust it. Extend this layer duration to 4 seconds. Now duplicate this layer up to 2 times. Move it here. Now move this shape here. Now duplicate note layer 2 times. Now select any shape layer and any note layer, and tap on masking icon. Now do the same thing for remaining shape and note layers. Now we have, separated 3 parts of note. Now at here, add a position keyframe. Move 20 frames forward and add another one. At here, change position, as shown. Now smooth keyframe curves. Now do the same thing for this layer also. Let's start this animation from first frame. Now select these three layers, and group them. Now we will apply, wave warp effect to this layer. Here, keep magnitude value, 0.5%. Adjust spacing value, as shown. Now add phase keyframe here. Move to the last frame. Here, increase phase value to 1.5%. Now edit keyframe curves. Now we will create lines animation. Let's add a rounded rectangle shape. Now adjust it. Let's keep it here. Rotate this line, to 90 degrees. Now apply linear repeat effect to this layer. Here, increase position value as shown. Now increase count value. Let's keep it here. Now select this layer and group it. Now rotate it, as shown. Place this line as I shown. Now add a position keyframe here. Now move to the last frame. Here, add one more position keyframe, and change line position as shown. Let's place this line here. Now edit these keyframe curves. Now I am creating one more line animation to this side also. Now add a rectangle shape for masking. Now adjust shape size. Apply blur effect to this shape. Adjust blur strength. Now adjust shape position. Now select two line layers, and group them. Now select these two layers, and tap on masking icon. Now select these two layers, and group them. Now apply flip layer effect to this layer. Change axis value to 90 degrees. Now at here, add angle keyframe. Move to 1 second 10 frames forward. Here, change angle value to minus 70 degrees. Now smooth keyframe curves. Now add a position keyframe here. Now at here, change position is shown. Now smooth keyframe curves. Now we will add numbers. Now apply long shadow effect to this layer. Increase alpha value to 100%. Now select color. 
Now adjust size. Now place this number here. Now add a position keyframe here. Now move to 20 frames forward and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, change number position is shown. Now smooth keyframe curves. Let's move this keyframe 10 frames forward. Now we will create fade in animation. Now add motion blur effect to this layer. Now duplicate this layer. Now edit this text. Now select this layer and group it. Now change this number position. From here, move 10 frames forward. Now start this layer from here. Let's create one more number animation. Now duplicate node animation layer. Now group it. Now change this layer color to black. Let's decrease opacity little bit. Add here, add a rounded rectangle shape. Now adjust shape is shown. Now apply blur effect to this layer. Adjust blur strength. Let's keep it here. Now add a position keyframe here. Move to this frame. Here change shape position is shown. Now smooth keyframe curves. Now select these two layers, and tap on masking icon. Now trim it here. That's it guys, thanks for watching, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe our channel for more videos like this, also comment below, who's editing you want to recreate.